Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about what you guys should be doing with your alchemist. So in the main city called Kyovashed, in the center of the town, you'll actually kind of see, I guess it's a little bit south of the town, you'll see somebody called Varaka. This is the alchemist. They can upgrade potions, craft elixirs and incense, and also refine your resources. So we're going to give you guys a complete guide on what you guys should be doing and taking advantage of with the alchemist. A lot of people don't really realize how much this can benefit your game and really speed up the leveling process and make things easier for you during your Diablo 4 experience. So first off, we're going to see that the weak healing potion is unlocked. I actually upgraded to the tiny healing potion at level 10 and the minor healing potion at level 20. However, next up in line is the light healing potion. This is at level 30. The big difference between these potions is one thing. It's the instantaneous heal. So right here, you can see at level 1, you heal 17 life instantly, 35% of your maximum life over 3 seconds. Well, if you go to level 10, the upgrade that it'll give you, it'll heal 48 life instantly, and then 80 life instantly at level 20. And then next up for me at level 30 is 141 life. So that's going to be the big upgrade, which is going to help you a lot in some of these big dungeons where you need that life right away, and you need to basically heal yourself to a very, very fast, fast, fast extent because you're taking damage from every direction, right? So one thing you'll also notice is at level 90, you'll actually be able to heal for 1,274 life instantly and 35% of your maximum life over three seconds. You'll also see some of the material costs being much, much more as you continue to try to upgrade your healing potion. As of now, at these lower levels, you'll basically get these materials while you're just playing the game. I think later on, though, some of these could be a little bit harder to get, like Fiend Roses, Angel Breaths, and Forgotten Souls. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in future videos. But definitely continue to upgrade your potions as soon as you are capable. Next up, we do want to talk about the elixirs. This is probably the most beneficial part for a lot of Diablo 4 players. If we take a look at some of the different elixirs available, you can see that there is a weak crushing elixir. This one increases your overpower damage by 20% and experience by 5% for 30 minutes. The one thing you'll notice with all of these is they increase your experience by 5% for 30 minutes. And that's something a lot of us are definitely going to want to take advantage of when we're trying to level up pretty quickly with the main game release. This is going to be something a lot of us are going to want, like I said, to take advantage of because the way to make these is, again, very, very cheap and easy. Look at this. I have 54 bite berries. I have not gone out of my way once to get them. I have 48 gallo vines. I have not gone out of my way once to get them. The only thing that it costs a decent amount of is gold early on. So 1,000 gold to craft, and that is a decent amount if you are still like level 15, 10, you know, 20, around those levels. It is going to be a little bit costly on the gold side. However, these are definitely going to be worth it. 5% over the entire span of your gameplay is going to help you get to that high max level very, very quickly. Also, I do want to say, guys, this is requirement of level 5 for certain ones of these, and then also level 10 for the others. So increasing dodge chance is level 10, increasing the armor, thorns, obviously going to be the level 5. So very, very cool to see that there's level 15s and level 20s coming up as well when it comes to the requirements needed to craft some of these elixirs. Definitely use these in the main game. They're going to be huge benefits to make sure you don't die constantly and as well you are gaining as much XP as possible. So next up we have the refining of the resources. This isn't a huge deal but I do want to quickly go over it and kind of give you guys a brief uh, kind of introduction to the refining resources category. So bite berries we have about 48 right now. If we go to bite berries we can actually craft or refine these herbs and uh, let's do, look at this, we can do nine. We can actually refine these herbs, bite berries, to those or gallo vines. So let's take a look here. Let's actually craft one so you guys can understand how this works first. So cost to craft is 200 gold. We have five of 48 here of gallo vines, and we, like I said, get those bite berries. So let's do exactly that. There we go. We crafted that one bite berry that we could out of the gallo vine available. You can see how there's so many different, uh, you know, resources you can actually upgrade to. So if you want to refine your iron chunks to silver ore, you can do that as well. So let's refine one silver chunk um, from that iron ore or iron chunk. I guess it's silver ore. Sorry. Let's refine the one silver ore from the iron chunk we have available. So there you go. We just did it twice. And you can see how this works. It actually comes down and, uh, you know, gives you those resources. So if you go to materials and stats now, you should be able to see that pop up now in your materials. So silver ore, we have 58. 
And uh, you can also see some of the yellows that we're going to need later on, like Forgotten Souls. So found during the Helltide, used to improve sacred and ancestral items. We have Sigil Powder, Baleful Fragments, and a lot of different rare resources and materials that we are going to be looking for later in the game. You can also craft incense at a later level. We're not going to go over too much of that right now since I can't display it here on the screen. But you can also see that the Alchemist does have the option to craft incense, which is going to be very beneficial as well to our gameplay. So if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know down in the comments below. We're going to continue to give you guys all of the details of Diablo 4 as we go on. And this is just a quick Alchemist run through so that you guys know that there is going to be benefits to using your Alchemist during your first gameplay walkthrough or your gameplay run through, depending on how you want to play. So thanks again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.